In August of 1969, federal and local authorities carried out one of the largest narcotic raids in the Washington area. The crackdown netted 55 suspects in what Attorney General John Mitchell called a mafia-connected operation. Since the raid, four of the suspects have been killed. WTOP News correspondent Mike Buchanan has a report. Officials today reported that three of the deaths appear unrelated to the narcotics case. But the fourth death, the slaying of Charles Popeye Hales on Wednesday, as one officer put it, has all the earmarks of an old-fashioned hit. Seven key figures arrested in the sweep last year are currently standing trial. They're the first group of defendants in the case to go to court. Three of those now on trial are allegedly New York narcotic wholesalers related to a mafia family. Popeye Hales was killed as he left his northeast Washington apartment Wednesday morning. A New Jersey man has been charged with murder. The U.S. Attorney's Office refuses any comment, but sources say Hales apparently was scheduled as a witness for the prosecution in the narcotics case. In less than 24 hours after Hale's murder, authorities arrested a defendant in the current trial, Lawrence Slippery Jackson, reportedly the largest drug wholesaler in the Washington area. Jackson had been free on bond, but was hit yesterday with counterfeiting charges. He's now being held on $250,000 bond. Sources indicate the arrest was made to keep Jackson off the streets and out of range. The counterfeiting indictment indicated that both Jackson and Hales were involved in using funny money for large-scale purchases of narcotics. And one authority speculated today on the operation saying it's a good idea when dealing with a mafia to use real money. One official in the Justice Department, when asked today about possible organized crime in the Washington area, replied, I certainly wouldn't say they're operating here. Perhaps you could say they're just visiting. This is Mike Buchanan, WTOP News.